Rouhani in retreat. Last week, the former Iranian president Mohammad Khatami told a gathering of his student supporters that the current president Hassan Rouhani is under pressure from his political opponents as he deals with political and cultural issues of the country. Of course, Mr. Rouhani has not been able to deliver all his promised reforms, but he needs more time as he is under immense pressure from a minority who claim to be speaking on behalf of the nation. They, the hardliners, are telling him that we are still here and have power and will not let things happen your way. The Etimad Daily quoted Mr. Khatami as saying, The clearest sign of Rouhani's capitulation to the pressure of Iran's Islamist hardliners was shown last week when his fourth nominee to head the science ministry, Mohammad Farhadi, was finally given the approval of the conservative-dominated Majlis. The legislature body had rejected all previous candidates for the post as the key ministry deals with Iran's university students and academic institutes, the two most powerful centers of unabated opposition to the clerical regime since its inception 35 years ago. In his election manifesto, Rouhani had pledged that once in office, he would remove the atmosphere of fear and intimidation from Iran's academic centers a political gesture rendered meaningless now, as in his speech in the Majlis, in defense of his qualifications, Mr. Farhadi, the new minister, said that he will get all his policy election and directions for department of under his command from the supreme leader Ali Khamenei, the very source of the police state across the Iran of today. And as if this giving in to the repressive policies of the conservatives was not enough, Rouhani's culture minister, Mr. Ali Jannati, has also said that he would now allow no more who is involved or has any links with the sedition to be able to have any cultural influence in Iran, as long as he is the head of the culture department. Sedition is, of course, a term used by the Iranian officials to refer the mass uprising of the Iranian people against the rigged results of the presidential elections of 2009. And all these signs of retreat on behalf of Mr. Rouhani and his surrender come on the heels of the failure of Iran and world powers to reach a final and comprehensive deal on Iran's nuclear program an area of regime's policy, foreign policy, that is almost completely decided by the alliance of the Khamenei Revolutionary Guard and Hardliners Triangle. They already accused Rouhani of having made undue compromises to the U.S. and its Western and Israeli allies in the half-baked interim nuclear deal and have even called for Iran's delegation to abandon the, the talks to be resumed next month. Trying to end this feud between the warring factions of the regime over the nuclear issue, Khamenei's senior advisor on international affairs, Ali Akbar Velayati, has told the hardliners to shut up before they ruin even the little economic relief that the ongoing talks have brought to the country. After the supreme leader's backing for our diplomats to continue with the nuclear talks, then there should be no voice of dissent in that respect from anyone. Velayati told Irna News Agency over the weekend. While in his speech today to the people of the province of Golestan, to Mr. Rouhani once again reiterated that he remains faithful to his promises made at the ballot boxes under the despotic rule of Khamenei and his political cronies in the Revolutionary Guards and among the intelligence and security apparatus, ballot boxes in the Islamic Republic are a facade that aim to prettify the image of a medieval religious dictatorship that rules Iran. Behruz Behboudi, Vancouver, 2nd of December 2014.